Alright, welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to walk through some examples for KMAP, and I will basically show you a few KMAPs, walk through how to extract the simplified Boolean expression from it. Okay, so these KMAPs will be either three variable or four variable KMAP. Okay, let's consider this KMAP. First, it's all filled, and our goal is to derive the Boolean expression from this KMAP. Okay, now remember, rules we have to find the largest grouping. The grouping has to be a power of 2. Okay, so let's start with that. So in this case, what's the largest group we have? We have a largest group of 2. So uh, let's highlight that group. So here's a group of 2. That's a group. Okay. What's the equation for this group? Okay, the equation for that group is a is zero, right? A is zero, and C is one. That's what is common between the cell right here, the cell right here, and right here. The the similarity between those two cells is that A is zero, and C is one. So we write that by A with a bar. So wherever the it's a zero, we write a variable with a bar, and C is one. Now let's consider these two guys. What's common there? A is a 1 and B is a 1. Okay. So the Boolean expression here, let's say output Y is A, B or not A, C. Let's look at another KMAP, four variable. Okay, so what are what's the largest group here? Now in this case we need to remember that the K map can uh, basically it's 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 a continuous, right? Instead of just being flat, it's almost like a cube. So I can group these two guys with these two guys. Okay, what's common there? A changes. How about B? B is 0. So this is B with a bar. C does not change, so that's just C. How about D? D changes across these two columns, so that's all we're left with. Now let's create a group of this with this. That gives me A is 1, B is 0, and what else doesn't change? C is 0 here, C is a 1 here but D does not change so D is a zero in both cases so that's the equation and what do we have left we have this guy we can't really group it with anyone so we just have that and that becomes A is 1 B is 1 C is 0 and D is 1 so the expression for output Y is A B D or A not B not D or not B C okay let's take a look at another example so I have an example created like this okay now Remember, since the K map rolls on this side and this side, and also from top to the bottom, right? I can group the four corners. So I have a group of the four corners here. Okay. Well, those four corners. What is the variable that does not change in all four of them? So here, a is zero here, a is zero. A is 1 here, A is 1 here, so A changes. How about B? B is 0, B is 0, B is 0, and B is 0 here as well. So B does not change, so that means we have B. Okay, what else? C is 0 here, C is a 1 here, that changes. How about D? D is 0, D is 0, so B not D. Okay, that's the expression for this guy. Now we have another group. 
Okay, we can create this group of four. Okay, and that will be B not C. So this whole uh, Kano map can be represented by the equation B Y equals B not C or B not D. Okay. Let's look at another example. Here we have what's the largest group we have here? We have a group of eight. So let's circle that. What doesn't change here? A changes. B also changes. C is zero in all eight cells. So C is zero. D changes. So that's all we have left. This guy, what's the largest group we can create with this? We can create a group of one, but we also can create a group of two by overlapping it with this. And that represents the equation. So that was for this. That represents A equals one, B equals one, and D equals one. So the expression is Y equals A, B, D, or not C. How about this one? What's the largest group we can create? Right, the ones are always away from each other. Remember, we cannot, we are not allowed to create a diagonal, right? We can't create a diagonal. So we can't really group any ones. This is the worst case scenario. There is no grouping of more than one. So this, 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 this and this. This is going to be a very very long equation but let's try to write this anyway so let me write. Okay, let me try. Y is let's see here not A B not C not D so I have this guy. How about this guy? Or A not B, not C, not D, or how about this guy? A, B, not C, D. Now this cell is or not A, not B, not C, and D, or this thing, not A, B, C, D. Now this is or A, not B, C, D, or let's look at this. That will be not A, not B, C, not D, or finally this guy here that's a b c not d a b c not d boy this is rather long and if you ever came across this kind of k map when you do your project that's a lot of gates that you need to wire okay hopefully nobody will have a k map this uh bad all right let's look at one more okay look at this there's one everywhere What's the largest group I can create? That's a group of 16. And does A change across these cells? Does A change? Let's see. A changes. How about B? B also changes. C changes. D also changes. So every single variable here changes, but every single, regardless of whether A, B, C, or D, it doesn't depend on whether A is a 0 or A1, B is 0, 1, C is 0 or a 1, D is 0, 1, the output is always a 1. So that means Y is simply 1. This uh, example is rather silly, 
but it goes to show you that the larger the group you can create the simplified the equation this would be in this case you would basically just wire a VDD or 5 volt to your output okay so here try some more examples that I posted on blackboard and if you need help look through this video pause it uh, go through my steps see how, how I do it and if, if you have more problem with K maps feel free to stop by my office at any point